Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Doro44, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about why so many streamers are networking wrong, and they're going about it in the wrong way. I'm gonna show you what I've been doing to help grow my channel over the past year, and how it can help you out as well. So if you like the video, leave a like down below, and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, consider subscribing. I post videos every single Friday dedicated to helping you guys grow your Twitch streams and tutorials and tips, all that good stuff. And if you have any more questions that I don't answer in this video, consider leaving a comment down below or hopping by my stream. We stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We do a lot of just chatting. We talk about this stuff all day and we play Genshin Impact. So if that's your thing, hop on by. So with all that out of the way, let's just get into the video. I have five points that we're gonna be talking about and number five is probably the most important one so if you want to skip over to that one go ahead but every single tip that i give you is pretty important so i would just watch the whole video through so starting with number one it's to not network don't network now what do i mean by that because the video is titled how to network and you're telling me to not network so what do you want me to do you need to make friends i know a lot of people say that and you're probably tired of hearing it but trust me networking is not the way to go so what do i mean by this the term networking really comes off as hey i'm only engaging with you and only talking to you because i want something in return to help me out and once i get that thing from you i'm done talking to you i don't care about you anymore and that's wrong don't do that that's not the way to grow what you want to do instead is make friends and grow your network of friends the reason why this is so important is because twitch is all about making connections and growing your community and getting to know other people that are like-minded and are just like you you're gonna go farther that way versus just going at it from a selfish standpoint to be honest with you if it makes it any easier try to approach it as trying to make friends at school or at work or at a party or something making genuine connections and honestly you don't have to have a million friends but you want to have good quality friends so look for streamers that are really like-minded or have similar styles like you and get to know them genuinely watch their streams watch them because you actually enjoy watching them and their content not because you're in the shadows like <laughs> i'm only trying to get something from you no don't do that because trust me if you come at it from a standpoint of i want to be this person's friend i love what they do and they're very similar to my style eventually you will grow from that as well people from their community will start to notice that hey this guy he's active in this community a lot and i know he's friends with this person and then they'll find out that you stream and then they'll want to support you as well so now going on to point number two raid people now i am a firm believer that you should be raiding every single stream no matter if it's one person watching you or 50 people watching you or whatever number it is you should be raiding and the reason is because it allows you to find new people like i said in the previous tip you need to find people that are like-minded and are similar styles and streaming and the best way to do that is to raid them with your community now i'm talking from experience when i say this not every raid is going to be a guaranteed success you're going to have some pretty bad raids i have some horror stories that we can talk about at a later point but not every raid is going to go the way you think or you're not going to make friends with every single person but if you're not raiding new people, then you're not meeting new people. See, when I started streaming, I wasn't making friends. I was kind of focused all on my stream and, you know, picking the right game to stream, you know, all that stuff. And once I started making other streamer friends and watching their content and actually enjoying their communities, people from their community started watching me and then vice versa, people from my community started watching them and then we just all grew together. That's what you wanna do. So raid new people that you don't know, people that are playing the same game as you. I like to say this a lot, but in order to grow, people need to know you exist. And if people don't know that you exist, you're not gonna grow or you won't grow as fast as you want to. So get to know new people and raiding is a great way to do that. All right, moving on to number three. All over follow and those like Twitch community grow your stream communities don't work. Follow for follow doesn't work because again, those are just empty follows. You're only inflating your follower count, the number that shows up 
which by the way, means nothing in terms of your viewership or your community. So don't fall into that trap. I know a lot of new streamers do, just don't do it because it's a waste of time and it really means nothing in the end. And then those streamer communities, some of them are good. I'm not saying every streamer community is bad. Honestly, the community that I'm a part of now started off that way. It was a small group of Twitch streamers who were all very like-minded that wanted to grow and we did. But we didn't do it in the sense of like those communities that are like, hey, join our discord and get to meet new streamers that way and, you know, follow each other and help each other grow. It doesn't work that way. And honestly, those communities only benefit the person that started the community because they grow their discords and everything else like that and their social medias. If you're going to join a community like that, just make sure it's a group of people that are like minded and are striving to grow and become better as streamers and content creators. All right, moving on to tip number four, collabing. Now I've done my fair share of collabs and let me tell you, they work. And it's funny because I never went out and asked somebody to collab. They've always asked me to collab and I've turned down some people before because I just felt like I wouldn't vibe with that person or our stream styles were very different. Um, but there are some other streamers that I have collabed with where we're very like-minded, we have the same communities kind of, and we're very similar in stream styles. And so it was like a perfect match made in heaven and we collabed and it was awesome because a lot of their community members who didn't know who I was found out about me and then they followed me and then they watched my content and then vice versa as well. Collabing is a really good idea, but when you pick someone that you want to collab with or do a co-stream with, again, just vibe with them see if you actually enjoy them their content if you like them you guys are like-minded again if you guys are very high energy streamers or something pick a type of game that will showcase that or if you guys are very chill streamers pick a game or content and plan that out something that will showcase that because it's all about your personalities but yeah that's a great way to like kind of showcase yourself as a streamer to someone else's community and vice versa and it can really help both of you out all right and then the last tip the most important tip i think in growing your network of friends and getting to know more people is joining other people's communities and enjoying other people's streams and content and being an active member of their communities genuinely like i said earlier this is a huge one this is what happened to me where i went from averaging 10 to 15 people to about 25 people in about a month it's because i met like-minded streamers and friends i actually reconnected with a friend back from high school and now he streams and we reconnected and I was active in his community and his streams and he was active in mine. And then we just both grew because I got to know more people from his side and then he got to know more people from my side. So doing that is super important and that's how you make more friends. You don't have, just have to be friends with the streamer. You can be friends with viewers and community members as well. Now, with all that said, I'm not saying to join people's discords or their streams and then just like watch them for a little bit or hang out with them for a little bit and then just never watch them again and then post your going live links in their discords that's not what you're supposed to do but being a part of other people's communities and helping them grow and enjoying their content will really give you the chance to get to know more people and get your name out there and honestly you should be watching a lot of people's streams if you're a twitch streamer it just makes sense right you have to be active on that platform if you want to grow on that platform it's the same thing with youtube it's the same thing with TikTok. this goes out to all of my people who have that like lone wolf mentality type thing that i used to have you're not alone in this game and there should be no competition between streamers we all want the same thing we just want to be the best streamers that we can be and we just want to grow as streamers so we can all do that together and we can be friends while doing it you don't have to compete with other people no one's stealing your viewers no one's stealing your followers none of that is happening but if you try to help other people be their friends help them grow naturally it's just going to come back and do the same for you but those are five tips to help you network the correct way since most people do it wrong but guys let me know in the comments down below if this video was helpful to you let me know if you have any questions that i didn't answer in this video and if you like the video again consider giving it a like comment down below and subscribing it'll help the video get shown to more people so that they can start networking the correct way but guys stay safe stay happy and i'll see you at the next video